We are given a circle with center O. A radius extends from the center O to touch the circle at the point Q, and it is given as 5 cm. Another radius extends from the center to touch the circle at the point labeled R. Now, we place a point P outside the circle. The distance from P to the center of the circle is given as 13 cm. Now, from an external point P, we draw two tangents to the circle. This touches the circle at Q and R. We are required to find the area of the quadrilateral P, Q, O, R. Can you solve it? All right, now let us take a close look at this diagram in order to know what to do. Here, we are given this diagram and we have a triangle here and another triangle here. So in this diagram, we have two triangles and one of the side, they share a common line in between, which is 13 centimeter. And the radius here is five. That means this other radius will also be five centimeter. So here we are to calculate for the length of this triangle, the length PQ, and also we are to calculate for length PR. So in order for us to know the method that we are going to use, if you take note of this place, you look at, you see that you have this radius touching Q at this point. So now, because radius is touching Q at this point, I want to tell us about a theorem called the tangent theorem. A tangent theorem says a tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. At the point of contact here, we have 90 degrees. So if you come to our diagram, that means you, from the tangent theorem, this point is 90 degrees. So because it is 90 degrees, it means that this triangle is a right angle triangle. So because it is a right angle triangle, so we are going to be using particular theorem to solve for this length PQ and PR. So this is the hypotenuse of this triangle. First, let us solve for length PQ. Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So in this case, we have to find PQ. So it's going to be OP squared equals to QP squared plus OQ squared. Now, when we solve, we are going to bring QP to this side of the equation and move OP to that side. And we'll now have QP squared equals to 13 squared minus 5 squared. So when we now remove this squared, we have PQ equals to the square root of 13 squared minus 5 squared. That will give us PQ will be equals to the square root of 144. Finally, PQ will be equals to 12 centimeters. So we have gotten the length of PQ and now we have to find the length of PR. Since the hypotenuse of PR is also 13 and the radius is also 5 centimeters. So if we calculate, PR will also be 12 centimeters. So our question, we are to find the area of the area of the quadrilateral PQOR. Now we have two triangles there. Now the formula for finding the area of a triangle is half base times height. Now let's consider this first triangle POQ. So the base in this triangle will be 12 centimeter and the height will be 5 centimeter in triangle POR. The base will be 12 cm and the height will be 5 cm. So, to find the area of the quadrilateral PQOR, we are going to add the area of the two triangles. Now, when we add the area of the two triangles, we have 30 plus 30. And the final answer, which is the area of the quadrilateral, is 60 cm squared. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.